Well, well, well. Mic check one, two. Right now I'm going through the beautiful Hernando, Mississippi. I'm um, heading right now towards Arcapola Lake. It's one of my favorites of uh, back roads that I always do around town. So, if you guys want to come along to this next motor block, you're welcome to it. guys on this motor block the topic is I don't know if to call them motorcycle safety or awareness but on the last couple of weeks I had a couple of my friends get into uh, if you could call a motorcycle accident and luckily you know they're both alive you know there's one it was pretty good hit and the second one uh, it looks like it was um, some um, bruises, a scratch mark on his one on his leg. The first one, uh, but this friend of mine, I'm not gonna say their name because you know I don't know uh, for privacy. Uh, this friend of mine pretty much got hit by a deer riding down in Arkansas right outside of uh, uh, Jamesboro Arkansas he was on uh, a five day motorcycle trip and I think uh, on day one of his trip that's when he got hit by a deer And one of the things he told me that he's lucky to be alive because of the fact he was wearing a full face helmet, which it was a Neotech shoe. Good helmet. He got some broken ribs, you know, uh, collarbone, but he will he will recuperate. And that brings me to the question about, you know, us, you know, including myself, because, you know, I, I wear sometimes half face helmet and full face helmet. And I started wearing full face helmet a couple years ago until another friend of mine you know, that lives in Florida, got into a, a fender bender. And he got a head concussion because of the fact when he went down on the bike, his helmet, which is a little cop helmet, which I don't think was a DOT, he came off and he got a concussion. That was the major thing he had, had a concussion, he no broken bones, 
uh, I think it was a dislocated shoulder, but his main problem was concussion. He gave him a lot of headaches for months. Uh, I, and I think, I don't know if he had internal bleeding, but he came down to the helmet, that little cop helmet that it look, you look cool on it, he came off. That's when I thought about, say, you know what? Uh, I should start looking into a full face helmet. And that's when I came down to the helmet that I have right now. And you always come back about the safety, you know. Uh, this other friend of mine, this week, I haven't, he hasn't given me the deal to I just saw his picture on Facebook about his, one of his uh, legs, you know, uh, it was oh rash from the bike and the first thing it came to mind was well typical south florida biker wearing shorts and a lot of times wearing no helmet which I had told him 10 million times you know when I see a picture of him riding a motorcycle a bike is he has a, a rogue line I always tell him where is your damn helmet and well luckily nothing happened it's just I don't know how he came down you know he just he showed his leg you know but first thing is there you go no wearing helmet, shorts on a bike. Are you wearing sandals too? And he replied to me, well, shorts, no helmet. I was wearing shoes. And you know, he always, you know, living in South Florida, I, I kind of got used to seeing people riding without a helmet because in Florida, this is that a no helmet law. And when I move here in Mississippi, there's a helmet law. So I got, you know, the fact every time I see somebody with a helmet, it kind of it, it, is weird to me because I'm not used to it anymore. And uh, when I see a lot of uh, groups, some of the groups that I follow, they're based out of South Florida, I see them wearing no helmet. I'm like, man, you know, so the question is what do you guys think and how do you guys feel about it you know obviously I want to get home safe you know and and it's something that you know if it's, if something's gonna happen to you it's gonna happen to you I mean that's but my point is well you know if something's gonna happen to you, at least be prepared, you know. And I'm hope to God, you know, that you will make you will make it through. You know, we all, as a bikers, we share the same passion about riding the two wheels. And you know, there's there's a feeling that you cannot describe until you're on the bike. But at the end of the day, we all want to get safe home to our families. But. My, my, my point is, at least be prepared if for something. Like, like my friend, he was wearing a full face helmet when he got running, you know, he came up, when he came across to the deer. And he usually wears a half face helmet. Good thing at that time, on that trip, he decided to take his full face helmet, his Shui Neotech. And thank God he's okay, he's gonna make it through. But, you know, you always think about, man, you know, what if, what if this, what if that? So, that's the topic of this. Auto blog. 
what do you guys think? What do you, what's your uh, what's your input when it comes for a safety or preventing, you know, whatever you want to call it. Me personally, I'm trying to wear a jacket. I'm trying to get used to my full face helmet, which I'm kind of used to. I love this helmet. My first full face helmet was the Neotech Ashui. And I took it on my, uh, one of my Arkansas ride. And it, it was giving me too much pressure on my cheek, you know, to the point it was hurting me. And I sold it and I tried this bullet and so far, I've been with it, I think, a couple of years. I love it. It's comfortable, and I don't feel claustrophobic, you know. It's, it has the full view. I love it. And I have two of them. I have a, a, fin a, gla a gloss black and a matte finish. And so far, so good. Can't complain. I'm, I'm used to it. So, put on the description, comment. I want to hear what you think about, you know, safety. You know, how, how, how much do you go? How far do you go when it comes for safety? You know, riding your motorcycle. Do you wear a full face helmet? Do you wear a jacket? You know, what, 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 how, what is your limit? I'm going to see if I find some pictures of, you know, of places that I follow in social media, you know. Of um, of people wearing um, uh, not even a helmet in, in South Florida. So this ends this motor blog about safety. Uh, don't forget to uh, share and subscribe to my channel. I see you until next time, guys.